Well, I'm going to... <sighs> I've been inspired to make videos for some time. And I have all these amazing, inspiring friends being so raw and real. And... Uh, well, I wanted to do this too, but tonight I just felt extra inspired um, after attending this great ladies' night. Um, it's an annual thing where they have a, a motivational speaker and a dinner and such for a little rural Northwoods area. It's extra amazing. It'd be amazing anywhere, but... Um, you know, there's like 213 women there and well, some, some, some gentlemen have, were there too. Um, but the motivational speaker, um, is this gal's son from the area and he lives in Green Bay now. He's a principal down there and I've seen him speak before and it was so inspiring, but tonight, being in the place where I've been at lately, um, was extra touching. Um, this, tonight it was, well, he runs this thing called Intentional Living University. I'm just reading my paper. That's what I'm looking away for. Um, and it was called Happy Half Hour. Um, but it's all on happiness and how to get there. Um, it was definitely a God thing hearing what I needed to hear and take away from, from his speaking. And right away, take it home and apply it um, to my life and talking with my daughters about it. Because <laughs> I'm going to be real and brutal here, which isn't easy. So um, I'm brutally honest, not brutal. <laughs> Very brutal how uh, my mascara is going to run here. Um, I have suffered for a lot of years of being um, a very critical person um, about myself and others um, and have been trying to overcome it. And it's not easy. And I know having daughters and being a professing Christian is really tough to not be a hypocrite, to not look like a hypocrite trying to teach my daughters to be to be better but yet still struggling in my own flaws and sins that I just can't always shake so the speaker tonight and just God putting it on my heart to know what I finally need to do and let go of to be a positive person instead of a negative one. Because the influence that I have on my children and family and others is so much bigger than I give it credit for, or sit and think about, until it's too late. I don't want to be like that anymore. 
making all these other life changes, health changes. And I was praying for the strength to change and get better. And I truly desired to do so. I don't know why it can sit there and stare you right between the eyes and you know what your problems are and issues. You just don't know how to have it connect and what to do. So today and tonight was that. And I'm looking forward to changing to be fully happy. And positive and not critical. I was seeing the negative in things person anymore. I mean, I've changed in a lot of ways and gotten better in that area, but not anywhere near where I still need to be. So, <laughs> this is one of maybe some more videos <laughs> we'll see you know I can be the biggest open book ever but this is this is hard for me I'll be honest because and I'll say one thing I'm getting in my own way I want to be real. I want to show you that being a Christian, being a pastor's wife, I still suffer with things. And I struggle with things because <laughs> I am a human being. And I, as a Christian, I am not perfect and I will never claim to be. I'm a work in progress. <laughs> I guess I was fear of being judged by outsiders not for <laughs> about me who cares I don't really care what people think of me but I don't want people to think negatively about the Lord because I'm a professing Christian but I also realize being real is going to go so much further in helping people that maybe suffer with the same problems. So I'm stepping out of my sh shell and we'll see if I do this again. But thank you for listening. I hope this helped someone, anyone, it helped me, <laughs> and I'm always here to help. I really, truly, genuinely care and have a love for people that I do want to help. So please reach out to me if you want to talk about anything. I'd love to help you. Thanks. God bless. Have a good night.